Wow, it's colorful. Hi, I'm Bruce. We have made it a many last board. This time, I got a new version of N100 or N305 last board. In the first video, I've introduced another N100 board for you. If interesting, you can remove to that. But this one is a new one. The difference between those two N100 last board is the PCI lines was the distribution. We all know N100 or N305 has 9 PCI lines. And in this board, the PCI lines was distributed to 222.5 GB novel card and 22M2, 4 2 PCI slot, and 1 2 ASM1166 for 6 SATAs. So let's take a look at this board. First, let's set out on board. 2 USB 2.0, HDMI and DP interface. 1 USB 3.0 and 1 USB 2.0 2 2.5 GB network card 1 TF card and 1 2 in 1 audio Inside, this is a DDR5 memory slot which can support up to 48 GB and 2 M2 slot which runs on PCIe 3.0 X1 No more sharing signals with PCI slot and this is the PCI slot it runs on PCI 3.0 X4 and it was designed up and did. So it can not only extend the 10 GB network card, maybe other devices. Those are 6 SATAs and the signal all comes from ASM1166 runs on PCI 3.1. Let's see some more details. This is the CPU and we will supply couple with board. And this is the CPU fan fixing holes, which support 115X. USB 3.0 inside, which can extend to chassis front panel. And two USB 2.0 inside, which is very convenient for OS boot or dongle. CPU fan pins. And two system fan pins. And this is the back of the board. Those are two 2.5 GB network card chip. That's all about this board. In next video, I will show you DC power supply version M100 or N305 last board. See you next time. Bye.